do we thank and praise God for allowing us to gather in this uh, venue and this forum he calls wisdom and wonder in God's word thank God for all who are able to join in today let's thank God for his keeping power I just thank and praise God for uh, bringing us uh, through uh, the bad weather uh, those who are in various areas and um, pray the more for those areas that are suffering from devastation uh, for uh, loved ones who haven't been located yet alive or deceased um, just keeping all of them in prayer and uh, seeking out the wisest ways um, uh, we might be used of the Lord to uh, help to reach out God bless you let us pray Father in the name of Jesus thank you for this beautiful day Lord thank you for your sufficiency at all times and in all things thank you God because you are sovereign there's not a thing happening in all of creation of which you are not aware thank you for being the the almighty God who sits high and looks low the almighty God for whom the cares and struggles of humankind are a concern oh father in the name of Jesus we thank you for just being able to gather today and thank you for bringing uh, many of us through power outages and down trees and other um, inconveniences and uh, Lord while we might be tempted to complain we cannot complain we think of our brothers and sisters and we think of those who haven't yielded to the gospel yet who are suffering major devastation oh God may they see you somehow uh, through this whole ordeal Lord um, just through their survival through the kindness of neighbors and friends and people they don't even, even know Father in the name of Jesus we pray uh, for the, the spirit of evangelism through the spreading uh, by the love of God the spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ would uh, be a capstone for this time oh father in the name of Jesus we pray not just for those affected by the hurricane but where the fires are where where everything whatever is going on in the world of weather Lord uh, we just we yield it all to you uh, we thank you for grace and we thank you for mercy uh, bless us in the midst of all those things for the uh, those matters that continue to go on in spite of the weather and in addition to the weather bless now this time of sharing we yield it for you to get the glory for us to be edified thank you for everybody you have purposed uh, to come in uh, hungering and thirsting after your word God. no other reason nor the purpose nor the motive but to hunger and thirst for your word Lord speak to our hearts in Jesus' name Amen well again thanking we're thanking and praising God for today thank and praise God for every one of you who is uh, joining with us today in this venue oh my God I am so grateful to the Lord for his loving kindness and his tender mercies toward me I truly truly am yes 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 I, I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do I lay aside and I press glory to God uh, now we are in this uh, walk through the gospel of John chapter 8 and today we're dealing with the last segment of the, of chapter Eight, um, verses 48 through 59 verses 48 through 59 of the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John and we have themed this sharing of my father of my father is, what, is how this, this sharing is themed today of my 
Father. Praise the Lord of my Father. Uh, you will recall that in our last, last several meetings, Jesus has been in these contentious um, kinds of confrontations. Well, he wasn't contentious, but the Jews around were contentious and uh, um, trying to just pick a fight. I don't know whether you've ever experienced, been around or been uh, the victim or the perpetrator in situations where somebody just wants to pick a fight, pick a fight. Um, and you talk about one thing and then they pick a fight about something else. And that doesn't um, trip you up and they pick a fight. So uh, that's what these Jews were seeking to do uh, with Jesus to disprove his claim of who he, he was. And um, they really wanted to kill him. They wanted to eliminate him. They wanted uh, to be without him in their midst. And of course, Jesus knew that. He challenged his disciples early on right after some of his followers peeled off and 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 discontinued following him uh, Jesus asked those closest to him who remained uh, will you leave also uh, are you are you gonna go to um, he wasn't begging them to stay he was just um, facing the reality that um, that's that is what sometimes happens. People will peel off. They will um, they will um, no longer be with you. And uh, Jesus was just saying uh, to them, "Will you go also?" And uh, Peter, of course, stepped up and answered, oh, "Lord, where where are we going to go? To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. In other words, you are truth." And then we quit quit following you. To whom shall we turn? So from then till this pa this passage through which we we'll walk today, we are walking today. Uh, we find Jesus uh, being confronted by these um, Jews, these mean spirited um, people who did not believe in him, and who desired to uh, not just hurt his reputation or or hurt um, his feelings but uh, in the end we will see that they desire not just to hurt him but to kill him amen so we're going to walk through these verses and uh, pick up nuggets it's as if you're walking um, uh, under a, a tree that is heavy laden with ripened fruit um, well the truth is you're not going to pick every fruit from the tree. You're not going to pick every fruit even that's fallen to the ground. Um, uh, but we choose to, to pick up nuggets. And if we visit it again, we will pick up more nuggets. And if we visit it again, we'll pick up more nuggets. Amen. So the Word of God is fixed. The volume is fixed. Uh, but the revelation continues. Because the Lord knows we couldn't contain it all um, in any one setting anyway. So let's go to the Word of God. This is John chapter 8. We're beginning at verse 48. John chapter 8. We're beginning at verse 48. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? <laughs> After Jesus had just gotten through this uh, last little confrontation with them, uh, he ends it in verse um, 47 saying, He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. And uh, they were so um, uh, antagonized by that truth that they said, Yeah, we, we aren't even, you aren't even a, a Jew. You're a Samaritan. You're a half breed. Um, you, you're not authentic and and uh, not only are you a Samaritan um, which would have been an insult to a Jew uh, but you have a devil we we co colloquially, colloquially would say you're full of the devil <laughs> uh, that's what they 
said to him in response to his words Jesus answered I am not a devil but I honor my father and ye do dishonor me I honor my father and ye do dishonor me and I seek not mine own glory there is one that seeketh in judgment Jesus say, is saying I know what my earthly function is I know what my earthly function is I know what my earthly purpose is great things will happen miracles will happen but, but, but ultimately my purpose is in giving my life I seek not my own, my own glory as one that seeketh and judgeth verily verily I say unto you if a man keep my saying he shall never see death boy Jesus spoke the truth and the truth just kept blowing these Jews out of the water um, he didn't speak the facts he spoke the truth um, and the truth is who he is and the truth is this word then said the Jews unto him now we know that thou hast the devil yeah we we kind of said and and, and we suggested we put it in the form of a question and asked that you are Samaritan and half the devil isn't that what we said did not we accurately say that you are Samaritan and you have a devil now the question becomes uh, an exclamation now we know that thou hast the devil Abraham is dead and the prophets and thou sayest, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste of death. They're saying, all the people we knew as critical leaders in our faith. All these people we knew as critical leaders uh, in our faith are dead. If a, and you say if a man keep my saying he shall never taste death art, art thou greater than our father Abraham which is dead oh my listen remember they said art thou greater than than our father Abraham so they have they have they have by their, their own mouths um, condemn themselves and the prophets are dead whom makest thou thyself Jesus answered if I honor myself my honoring is nothing hallelujah this is the crux of where this theme today of my father is so pivotal Jesus realized if I honor myself my honor is nothing saints let's seek to say that if what we do in laboring for the sake of the gospel is to uh, embellish us to build us up to make us look good to make us feel good uh, self-aggrandizement if it's any of that he says I am nothing it is my father that honoreth me I am honored to be on this mission I am honored to be sent to suffer what I must suffer I am honored to participate in the plan of Almighty God the plan we decided before the foundations of the world it is my father that, that honoreth me I don't honor myself of whom ye say that he is your God you're saying my father is your God but you're not understanding that what I'm doing is of the one you say is your God. Hmm. Of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him. You've not known him. Consumed in this anger. You've not known him. If you, if you have good news rather than spreading good news you, you're out on this, this personal vendetta 
Uh, you, you don't know him? You have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. <laughs> if I say, I don't know the Father, I'll be just like you all are. <laughs> if I say, I'm not sent of him, I'll be just like you. If I say, my work is not of him, I'll be just like you. But I know him and keep his saying. But I know him and keep his saying. But I know him and keep his saying. Now this is Jesus saying this. And he, he knew no error. He knew no sin. Still what he says can be a benchmark for us. As we seek to say, but I know him and keep his saying. And that's what brings us when we err. That's what brings us to re repentance. Because we know him and we keep his saying. Yes. So, so uh, repentance um, isn't for the sake of other people. Repentance is for the sake of right relationship with God. Through Jesus Christ. And because we know him, we want to keep his sayings. And he goes on and says, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Boy, Jesus could speak the truth that really, really, really kind of got under their skins. Your father, Abraham, you call him your father, right? Your father, Abraham, rejoiced to see my day. Jesus said just a few sentences earlier, It is my father, almighty God, that honoreth me. Your father, Abraham, rejoiced to see my day. When Abraham came along, I was already there. Oh, man. The deity, the, e the, the eternity of Jesus. From, from uh, in eternity past to eternity future. He was there. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? See, you're lying again. You mixed up. You say, Jesus, you're saying all kinds. You're condemning yourself. You aren't 50 years old. Abraham been dead for hundreds of years. And you telling us you saw him? You, you're crazy. Something wrong with you, Jesus. Which is, uh, sometimes those things will be applied to the saints. When, when there's revelation, I mean sincere honest earnest revelation going on not just mind games not just mind games not just things we conjure up in our feelings because we're in our feelings but when we are truly in the Lord amen he says has out Jesus said unto them verily verily I say unto you before Abraham was I am wow before Abraham was past tense. I am present tense. In other words, I, I am the future, the past. I am the present. I am the future. I am eternity. I am of the same nature as my father. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. So it was, was Jesus in submission Jesus is in agreement to function in this in this capacity for the sake of the redemption of mankind. And so he's saying, what I'm doing, I'm, I've submitted myself to the Father. Jesus says, before Abraham, you all talking about Abraham, and and I'm I, I'm not I'm not 50 years old. How could I know Abraham? When Abraham came along, I was already there. When he was born, I was there. <laughs> I decided in the in the decision of Abraham's destiny. I was there. And here's how they respond. And they can't trick him with their words. And they can't trick him with their cunning. But they can't, can't trick him by trying to just get him mad. 
get him humiliated. Then they took up stones to cast at him. We can't shame you. We can't humiliate you. We can't get you angry. We can't make you act out of character. And here's what we can do. We can stone you. But Jesus hid himself. Why did he hide himself? He didn't hide himself because he was afraid. He hid himself because this hour had not yet come. This wasn't the time for him to die. This wasn't the setting for him to die. This wasn't the situation for him to die in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He knew that his father had determined the time. And there would be a witness in him when that time came. Glory to God. Sometimes when we're in holding patterns, saints, uh, it may seem to others and it may even seem to us like some, somehow uh, we've gotten forgotten in time and, uh, and we, we attempted to get a little anxious and, 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 and sometimes when things, uh, when the Lord persists in these things um, being held in abeyance, we, we kind of get a little upset. Yeah, uh, but, 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 but I'm telling you, um, when you, when you know God has purpose for your life, when you know God has consecrated and ordained you for certain functions in the upbuilding of his kingdom, amen. You know God has, has changed you such that there's no, 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 no uh, need in you to pursue, um, confusion and division um, Jesus just hit him so he just got out of their way and he went out of the temple and he got in the crowd and through the midst of them he went right through the people who've been gunning for him so to speak and so passed by. How could he meet these uh, uh, antagonists? How could he uh, converse with them, have such long conversations with them, exchanges with them, and uh, continue to seek to teach them, continue to seek to enlighten them, continue to seek to bring them along? And at the point where their hostility gets the best of them but he knows that that hostility is not the timing of the father so he operates of his father I'm of my father I move of my moves are of my father what I say is of my father my purpose is of my father where is ours today where is ours today what motivates us to do what we do? Is it self? Is it selfishness? Is it self-centeredness? Is it, is it egocentricity? What is it? Jesus says, I'm of my Father. I don't make a move on my own. I don't say a thing on my own. I do what my Father says. Let's seek to do likewise. Let's seek to do likewise. When we err, when we quickly repent, get back in line. God bless you, saints. Thank God for His living word. Hallelujah. May we have prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this living word, this truth. Oh God, this inerrant, infallible, timeless, authoritative truth. Oh God, by which the whole world we will be judged. Oh God, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you that uh, we, we, we were shifted positionally uh, and relationally because of the blood of Jesus. Thank you God that we have access to you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus told us whatever we ask you in his name. 
we shall have it. So we thank you now for peace. We thank you for joy unspeakable and full of glory. We thank you for just quickening the downhearted and the downcast, Lord, that they may see you and, and your goodness in something right around us today, Lord, in a voice, in a flower, in the, the flowing of water, in the chirping of birds, God, in a smile from someone on the street. Oh, God, we thank you today. Thank you for your witnesses all around, God. Oh, God, and the bird might not know it, and the flower won't know it, and the, the rustling of the leaves won't know it, and the river flowing won't know it, and the smile on someone's face, they wouldn't know it, but you will witness to us of your love for us through these and so many other avenues. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for Jesus showing us how to humble ourselves, submit ourselves, find our wills in your will, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today. He said profoundly of my Father, whatever I do is of my Father. Whatever I say is of my Father. Oh God, may we seek to do likewise. Oh, we thank you today and we praise you for your word. We thank you for victory today over sickness, over trouble, over issues. Lord, we thank you for the victory today. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the peace today, Lord. While we wait on the changes, Lord, while we wait on the adjustments, we thank you for, for giving us your peace in the midst of us, these challenges that come upon us from time to time. Oh God, thank you today for saving uh, the one who seems hardest to be saved, for reclaiming the backsliders, Lord, for giving your peace to your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Keep us in your care now, God. Keep us in your care now, God. In the name of Jesus. We can do no lasting good thing without you, Lord. And if there is any good we do, it's only because of you. Thank you for speaking to our hearts, Lord. Thank you for inclining your ear toward us. Thank you for your peace, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you, saints. You seek to do what the, the word, the truth says. You seek to do good to all mankind especially to those of the household of faith god bless you love everybody with the love of jesus christ till we meet again be blessed